Hello everyone, I hope everyone is doing great. In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to download Landsat 8 data from Earth Explorer website USGS. Open your browser, just type in Earth Explorer. So you can see on the top Earth Explorer. Now hit the button search. You can see the first link Earth Explorer, earthexplorer.usgs.gov. I'll be uh, sharing this link in the description as well. You can just check it out. Now click on this link and uh, you can see here this is how the interface looks like. First in order to download any sort of data we need to log in. But it is not necessary for viewing. You can view the data uh, but in order to download the data we need the login details. So select login. So for signing in this is how the home page looks like. Now we need to give the username and password and come down. You can see two options are available. Hit the button sign in if you have an account. If you don't have an account, click on create new account. If you want uh, me to make a video on it, how to create an account, I, I can make it. Just uh, uh, put your uh, suggestion in the comments. If you want to make a video on it, I will be doing it. Now hit the button sign in. So we have uh, so we have signed signed in successfully. Now you can see the search criteria in the left hand side. You can see uh, two options are available: U.S. features and world features. So if your study area falls under U.S., you can select U.S. features and uh, directly search the region. You can just uh, put on the region name here and hit the button show. So if your study area is outside U.S. You can select world features and here you can search the region for example i am uh, interested in kochi and now i'm going to click show let us wait for a few seconds yeah you can see the result has been up, uh, updated so these are the locations around uh, you can see kochi is located in four different countries and in bolivia itself it is around three places are there so I am interested in Kochi which is in India. So now click on this Kochi. You can see here automatically in the map it has been highlighted. And uh, you can see uh, that a uh, place mark like thing has been highlighted over here above Kochi. So let me take another example. You can also manually uh, go to a location and specify the area of interest. Let me show you how to do that. For example, this is Kochi. I need to define an area manually. You just have to go to the location, zoom in and use the mouse left button in order to place marks like this. You can draw a polygon or you can use just a single point. You can just use a uh, mouse uh, left click you can also drag it by using the mouse left click you can select this each uh, uh, icon and you can drag it drag it accordingly now after selecting the area of interest come down and you can see some uh, inform uh, information that is to be filled for filtering the data you can uh, uh, select the date range over here from where to where for example from 2022 to 2023 you have to specify the amount, date and year. So I am going to not test this one. Uh, filter by year. The next is uh, cloud cover. So I am going to use cloud cover less than 0 to 18 percentage. So if you reduce the, for example if you are uh, interested in 0 to, eight, uh, 0 to 18 percentage, the result will be more. If you restrict it to 0 to 5, the uh, uh, results, the image results will be uh, much lower. For example, it may be uh, around uh, 2 to 3 for a year. So you can just keep the cloud range from uh, 0 to 15 so that you will be getting a, a larger uh, image results. Now after doing it, hit the button data sets. Here we are going to choose the data sets. So I'm going to choose the Landsat 8 
for that you can find the option Landsat over here Landsat click on this plus mark come down you can find the option Landsat collection to level 1 here you can get the thermal bands as well as the pan band panchromatic band now after clicking on the plus below the Landsat collection to level 1 you can choose the Landsat 89 OLI TIRS series so this is just a message it will be uh, resolved soon let me click OK now you can see the option additional criteria click on the option additional criteria here if you are uh, if you know uh, from which uh, WRS path you can put the WRS path or WRS row you can choose the satellite for example here in this case I am going to use Landsat 8 so I am selecting Landsat 8 you can choose the day night indicator so if you want the image image to be in day you can select day otherwise you can uh, leave it defaultly now you can see the results option click on the option results here will be getting the image images so let me click on the first image you can see here itself the image is uh, covers cloud you can uh, check the metadata by uh, clicking this option here you can get the information about the imagery so when it is been acquired collection categories and you can find the land cloud coverage that is 18.30 percentage and scene cloud coverage that is 17.23 percentage you can get a lot of information about this uh, image so now let us close this and uh, I'll be just focusing on the image with uh, lower cloud coverage in the study area so you can see here this image seems to be good for me let me choose some other uh, images here you can just uh, check in the date of the image when it is acquired you can search accordingly so I am going to choose this image let us see how it looks like now click on this meta loading meta now let us see how the image looks like you can just click here a separate tab will be opening you can see how the image is so for me this image looks low key with my study area so if you want the image to be uh, cloud free uh, in the starting we have uh, used the filter 0 to uh, 18 percentage you can reduce it to 0 to 5 percentage 0 to 10 percentage you'll be getting a much uh, accurate results likewise you can do now in order to download this data let us see the metadata first so it has been acquired in 2022 1 16 you can see the land cloud cover 11.34 percentage same cloud cover is 9.17 percentage now let us download this image click on the download option now you can see here lot of options is available click on the product options here you can download each band you can download separately by clicking this option you can download all on this band for example if you need one two three and four band you can uh, download it separately or if you want the entire data set so you can download by using this option so it is around 1.08 GB so I'm going to uh, download the entire uh, data set so the download will be started just I need to show the location where to save it 
now hit the button save so the download has been started so I have, I have such a setting in my browser every now and then it will be asking me where to save it otherwise uh, for you it will be directly downloaded so you can see here in within six months uh, six sorry six minutes it will be downloaded you can also download the individual bands for example if you are interested in band 3 you can download band 3 a separate tab will be opening up and the download once again it will be asking me where to save the file I just have to hit the button save you can see here band 3 alone is being downloaded separately likewise you can also download it so the download is going to be completed so for me it took around uh, 10 minutes to download this image if your internet connection is uh, faster that is bandwidth it will be much more faster so now let us see it in the file manager so you can see here this is the band 3 which we have downloaded separately and this is the bundle all the bands will be there here let us extract the file and quickly view it in the ArcGIS so I have opened ArcGIS the extraction has been successfully completed let us add the data here so you can see here let us add few bands band 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 you can see 9 band 10 and 11 so let me add this image quickly a few bands Here you can see So likewise you can download the image from earth explorer if you have any other doubts please do ask in the comment section thanks for watching bye bye everyone